In our previous video, we covered configuring RAID in Linux from the command line. I'm sure after watching that video, if you're new to RAID configuration, you probably had questions. Questions like, how do I delete an array? How do I add, remove a device from an array? These are all questions that I had when I first learned how to configure it. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you will have the answers to your questions. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm gonna show you how to manage RAID in Linux from the command line. Stick with me. I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and wanna see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments below. And lastly, stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the command line. Give me just a second here. Okay, and there we go. So you need to do a couple last minute things to get my desktop clear, cleaned up here. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about managing RAID arrays from the command line. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and start by talking about getting information about your RAID arrays. Now, one of the most basic commands you can use to get um, information on your RAID arrays is going to be uh, catproc.mdstat, which is going to, uh, this file is going to have information in regards to the arrays that you have set up. So let's go ahead and execute this command. Currently on this machine, we have three RAID arrays set up. We have two RAID 1 arrays, and then we have one RAID 5 array. And then with this command, it's going to give you some information in regards to the arrays, which is right here, MD0, MD2, MD1. It's also going to give you the type of RAID. You'll see right here next to active. And then it's also going to give you the disks that are part of that array. Right here, here, and there. So pretty useful stuff here. Um, that's a great place to, to just get it simply. Now you can also use this command with watch. And so. To watch the output of the command. And that'll update every two seconds. This is super helpful when you are setting up arrays to be able to go ahead and track the status of the building of those arrays, as well as when you're updating some of these arrays because it will require a rebuilding of the array for it to go ahead and um, you know make the changes, adding or taking away the disk or, or whatever the case is. So and the way you'll get out of here is just control C. And then again, that's just uh, watch uh, quotation mark cat uh, slash proc slash MD sat quotation mark. So make sure you put those in quotation marks because it won't recognize it otherwise. All right, moving on to the next one is going to be sudo MD ADM. We're going to do tat capital D. And then we're going to go ahead and do the name of the array, which in this case is dev MD0. We're going to do, remember, this is a capital D for detail. I'm going to put in our password. All right, here we go. It's going to give us quite a bit of information. It's going to give us the type of RAID. It's going to give us the array, the array size, uh, use device size. It's going to give us total RAID devices. Total devices, uh, total devices, total RAID devices. This will be how many are in the actual array, and this will be total that are part of the array. Um, these aren't necessarily going to be the ones that are included in the array. These could be spares uh, or failed devices, which you can actually see down here. And then it also is going to give you some more information here in regards to the disk themselves right there. You can also get this. You can also get the UUID uh, from this output. Now, if you're just needing some basic information about the array, you can do sudo mdadm tac d uh whoops d lowercase b and then dev md0 or you know the name of the array this is going to give you uh this output here now the only thing i've really found useful for this is the uid for setting it up in the S -tab, fs tab file uh, keep in mind the fs tab file is the file that's used to designate a drive to be mounted upon boot so that is the only thing that i really find useful for that one but i still wanted to show it to you now let's go ahead and talk about getting information about devices that are in RAID arrays. So that's going to be sudo mdadm, and we're going to do tac uh, capital Q for query. Then we're going to do the drive name. There we go. And we can see here, uh, this gives us some information. It does let us know that this is not an array, which is understandable. Um, it tells us that this device is device zero and a two device active RAID one dev md1. And then it also tells us to use mdadm tac tac examine to get more information which we will actually go ahead and do now so let's do that sudo so md adm 
tech Q dev SDA. And I don't know why I completely skipped over the examine. Here we go. And this is going to give a ton of information in regards to this device. I'm not going to go over this too much because I don't really use this one very often. Uh, you know, it does tell you the type of RAID, type of how many RAID devices, name, um, UUID, stuff like that. But I, I personally don't use this very often. So, but it is there if you want to get more information on the device. All right, cool. And that is how, oh, there's one more command that I want to show you. I almost jumped ahead of this one and I always forget this one is LSBLK, the list block device command. Is I like to use this one just as a quick summary to tell me which devices are part of an array. Because like right here, we have these two right here that are part of MD0. We have these two up here that are part of MD1. And we have these three right here that are part of MD2. So we can go ahead and just quickly see that. Um, just simple output helps you with identifying. So cool. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to removing a device from an array. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and um, do it. We're going to remove it from this one right here. We have SDH and SDJ are our two, um, two devices that are going to be part of that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by, by manually failing one of the manually failing one of the devices, the storage devices. We're going to do sudo MDADM, and then we're going to go ahead and do dev MD0, the array name. I'm going to do tac tac fail. I'm going to do dev SDH. And what this is going to do is it's going to, it's going to manually mark this device as failed or faulty as it'll recognize it. And you, you can do this for uh, RAID arrays other than zero. This isn't going to work for RAID zero because it's RAID zero. You take out one disc, it's going to kill the entire array. Um, so this will work for the other ones. Um, and this will also kind of give us the opportunity to see what it looks like when a device has failed. Let's go ahead and do that. And it has that, it has listed that as faulty. So let's do a sudo mbadm tac D, and we're going to do dev md0. And we can already see down here that that device has been listed as faulty, but up here we have it listed in failed devices. Uh, it does still state that we have one active device, you know, one working device, and it's going to, if you scroll up a little bit more, it still shows two total RAID devices, two total devices, because we haven't yet removed it. So now the next thing that we're going to need to go ahead and do is we're going to need to go ahead and remove this drive. So that's going to be a pretty easy thing to do. It's going to be sudo mdadm, and we're going to go ahead and do uh, dev md0. We're going to do tac tac remove, and then we're going to go ahead and do dev sdh. Oops. There we go, and it says hot removed uh, that drive from that array. Let's go ahead and just go back to our detail output. And we can see here now we only have one drive. And I don't know why it's still showing two RAID devices, even though we failed one and everything else shows one. But um, yeah, it's still showing that. But we can clearly see here there's only one active drive. Now, just be mindful when failing drives that an array does require a minimum number of drives. I'm think I've never tested it with, you know, RAID one, RAID five, RAID six, or anything like that, RAID ten, uh, with the fail. But um, keep in mind that there is going to be a minimum number of drives that are needed, and it may stop you. It may not. So just be mindful of that number. Check out the previous video if you're if you have questions on that. I actually I think it's two videos ago when I talked about introduction to RAID. So keep that in mind. All right, cool. We've done that. Now let's go ahead and move on to removing an array. So removing an array, it's going to be pretty easy as well. There's just going to be a few different steps that we're going to take. Sudo uh, U mount dev md0 and this is what you're going to do only if you have this this array mounted i don't have it mounted so you're going to see us get an error it's not mounted but i wanted to go ahead and show you that command just so you're aware of it now the other thing that you're going to want to do is going to want to do sudo md adm attack tac stop and then dev md0 now this is going to stop the array now in certain cases it will go at you um, it will go ahead and completely wipe out this array. Um, I, there, um, when you're removing an array is the, I don't, I'm, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but there's two commands that the documentation tells you that you need to remove an array, but sometimes you do the, you do the tac tac stop and then the array name and it removes it completely, uh, from the, um, uh, from, from everything. 
So I'm not really sure if you know down, if you know, let me know down in the comments below. I'd really be happy to know. I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination on really anything for that matter, but um, so you'd be definitely helping me out and helping out the community. So I thank you in advance uh, if you're able to go ahead and share that information. Now let's go ahead and just stop this array. Now this command will also work, like say if you just need to take this array offline, maybe you need to do some maintenance on it or, or something like that. Um, this will allow you to do that as well, and then you can reassemble it later. We'll, we'll go over that here in a few minutes. But okay, so we've done that. We do sudo mdadm tac tac remove, and we're going to dev md0. And see, it gives you this error. Um, I'm not really sure in what circumstances it gives this error or when it doesn't. So I, what my recommendation would be is to continue to do both of these commands. It gives the error. Hey, no harm, no foul, but you want to make sure that you're getting everything uh, removed successfully when you're um, take, carrying out this uh, this task. So now we got to do one more thing. Sudo mdadm tac tac zero super block. These uh, super blocks are how they track that these devices are associated with the RAID array. So we want to make sure that we can we remove those those tags that are being put on there, the super blocks, so that they can be associated with different arrays. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to just put the, the storage devices here. We don't need to put the actual array. Go, and those have been removed from that. Um, there's a couple other things that you'd want to go ahead and do depending on how you have everything set up. Don't forget to check the the Etsy FS tab file to remove anything. I don't have any that are set up. Um, yeah, see, this is just my this is just my second uh, NVMe drive. So just keep that in mind that you'll need to go ahead and remove it from that file. You'll also need to go ahead and I know my head was in the it's been in the way on some of this stuff, but um, I apologize in advance. But um, I I already forgot which parts that were all the way down there. So um, just a friendly reminder to myself to make sure that I um, I um, don't make my head in the way. And actually, also like since I'm on that topic, let me know down in the comments. Do you like when I'm going through this? Do you really care if my face is is part of it as we're going through, you know, the desktop stuff. Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Please let me know down below. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on that. Because uh, if you know, if if nobody if nobody cares or nobody really likes it or is indifferent, then I, I can remove those and just make it easier so we don't have to worry about that. So please let me know your thoughts down below. All right. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do the we're gonna do uh, sudo vim etsy md adm mdadm.conf, which is the configuration file uh, for RAID arrays. You'll want to make sure that if you do have one in here that you've taken it out. I don't have any in here currently. I will be putting one in here in a few minutes just to be able to continue with the demonstration, but this is where you would want to make sure that you remove all that. And then the last thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and run sudo update init ramfs and then tack u to go ahead and make sure you just remove um, completely have it um, removed from the early boot process. This will take just a second here. Don't worry about these missing firmware, possible missing firmware stuff. That's 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 nothing. Don't worry about that. Okay, cool. We've got that out of the way. Perfect. Awesome sauce. All right, cool. That is removing an array. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about adding devices. We're going to go over RAID five and six, RAID one and ten, and RAID zero configuration. So. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and go back over here. Let's go this out. Let's do LSB OK. So we can see that we only have these two arrays here. Now, the one that we're going to be working on first is going to be RAID 5 and RAID 6, which is going to be these three right here, SDD, SDE, SDF, and then SDG. So this is, and this is dev MD2. Let's go ahead and go back to our other command line. And the first thing that we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to go ahead and actually just add the fourth device to the pool of devices available to the array. So it's going to be sudo mdadm, and we're going to do uh, dev md, oops, not December, uh, md2, and then we're going to go ahead and do tac tac add, and we're going to do dev, uh, it was e, and it was, it was ef, yeah, it's g, sdg. It's going to go ahead and add it to the pool. And we'll just do sudo mdadm tac b, dev md2. I'm just going to show that to you real quick here. So we can see down here it's listed as a spare. You can see that little it's a little cut off, but we can see that that one's left as a spare. It's also listed as right here. 
four, four working devices, three active devices, and we have total devices four, raid devices three that are listed up here. So that is some pretty cool stuff. Okay, cool. We got that cleared out. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and add it to the, the array. So we're going to do sudo mdavm. We're going to do tac tac grow. And then we're going to go ahead and do tac tac raid devices equals four and you'll want to make that the number that you want total in the array so currently we have three now we're going to be adding that fourth one so it's going to make it a total of four and then we're going to go ahead and do a backup file we're going to do tac tac backup you tac tac back i think it's about it tac tac backup file equals home uh dev i'm sorry home B, and then we're just going to call it m.2 back. All right, and the reason we want to go ahead and add this backup file, it's really, really important. It's so that if anything goes wrong while we're uh, adding this device, the array can be rebuilt. So you want to make sure that you have that backup there. Then we're going to go ahead and put in the array, which is dev md2. Perfect, there we go. And if we just go ahead and do an ls here in my home directory, we can see that it is indeed right there. Do a sudo md uh adm tac capital d dev md uh two we got it see here we can see it here and all um we can see it all here down here in this list we can now see that there are indeed four devices as part of the raid array so perfect and then you want to go ahead and watch that rebuilding process it will take a little while as you can do, you can do cat proc md stat which we talked about earlier and we can see there it's going to take roughly 398 minutes. So go watch one of the uh, one of the director's cuts of the Lord of the Rings movies. That'll help tide you over while you're uh, waiting for this to get rebuilt. So and it'll just vary by the size of the drives and how many you're adding and, and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's how you add one to a RAID 5 or RAID 6 array. Cool stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and also do this with the... We got it here. We're going to do this with the RAID 1, which is going to be MD1. Here we're going to be using SDA, uh, SDA, uh, B, I'm sorry, SDA, SDB, and then SDC are going to be the disks that we're going to be combining together. So let's go ahead and clear this out. We're going to do uh, sudo. It's going to be similar. MD, ADM. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do dev MD1. And then we're going to go ahead and do tac tac add. And then we're going to do dev SDC. Uh, well, we took over the second one. Here we are. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so we added that one in there. I'm going to do sudo md adm tac tac grow. And then we're going to do uh, tac tac raid devices. And you'll notice this is pretty much the same as the last one. The difference here is going to be that we don't have, um, we don't have the backup file here because we're not going to need to worry about that. Because all we're, these are basically, you know, like raid, raid one is a mirroring. And then RAID 10 is kind of like a mirroring, striping co combination. So um, that's what we're having here. All right, so we have RAID devices equals three. And then we're going to go ahead and do the dev MD1. Perfect. And that has been updated and set to three. So pretty cool. I'm not going to show it to you again because we looked at it in the previous one. So um, that's how you do it. But what we need to do now, though, is I am going to need to do, I'm going to need to do a couple things. So we're going to do sudo md adm we're going to do uh, tac tac stop dev md uh, one we're going to go and do that one and here we're going to go ahead and do the remove command because we need to we need to kill this one see there you go you see that it went there and it allowed us to do it there without getting that error so we're removing that now we got to go ahead and do the the sudo md ad m and we're going to do um, tac tac zero super block and what i'm doing right here is i'm creating a raid zero for me to show you i'm um, so you're getting some of these bonus commands but i'm not going to be going over them uh, again just because we did that in the previous video or in this video so super block and then we're going to go ahead and do we're going to go ahead and do um, dev SDA, dev SDB, and then dev SDC. 
we go and we went ahead and wiped those out. Now let's go ahead and create one. We're gonna do sudo mdadm tac tac create tac tac verbose. Then we're gonna do dev md1. And then we're gonna go ahead and do tac tac level equals zero. And then we're gonna do tac tac raid tac devices equals two. And then we're gonna do dev sda. And then we're gonna do dev sdb. We're creating that. Yep, perfect. And let's just click confirm everything. Sudo md adm. And then we're gonna do tac capital D dev md1. Perfect, we got everything there. Everything is running. With these, with uh, with the initial with the initial zero creation, it doesn't have to do like the whole building process. So that's that's why I'm able to go ahead and, and do this on the fly, and why I'm also doing it after I did the other ones. And the ones for the first one I showed you was going to be for raid five and raid six. The one I just showed you would be used for raid one and raid ten, and then this one's going to be used for raid zero. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so with this one, we're gonna basically be combining the commands we've already used. sudo md adm, we're gonna do um, tac tac grow. And we're gonna do dev md1, and we have to add these together. We have to add these together because um, it won't, it, raid zero doesn't allow for spares. So we're gonna do raid devices equals three, and then we're gonna go ahead and do tac tac add. We're going to do dev sdc. Perfect. And there we go. Everything has been added. Now, you will notice that it is saying right here that the level of dev uh, dev md1 changed to raid 4. Uh, the reason that that happens is I'm not completely honestly sure, but it, what will happen is, is what it's right now it's currently rebuilding the array. If we do proc md stat. <laughs> we go we can see that it, it's uh where is it there it is it says raid four but it's going to take uh um 206 minutes to go ahead and re finish rebuilding that um so yeah once it does that it'll go it'll show raid zero so don't don't worry about that it caught me off guard the first time i was like what the heck's going on here so um yeah so don't worry about that but all right perfect and now, the last thing that we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and talk about assembling an array. So let me clear this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do MDADM and we're going to do TAC D and then we're going to go ahead and do, um, we're going to do TAC TAC scan. And then we're going to go ahead and do sudo T TAC A and I showed this command in my previous video. And uh, Etsy, MDAD, and we're going to put this in the configuration file. All right, and basically what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, like give us some details on this. Um, oh, and we want to actually want to go back here. You don't want to do just scan because we don't want to put all of those in there. We want to put just the one. So you just do MDADM, tac D, tac, um, tac, tac scan, and then we're going to go ahead and put in the array dev MD1. And what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and scan it. It's going to output it to the screen as well as to that file as well. There we go, perfect. We did go ahead and get this stuff in there. Got that set. All right, and the reason that that's gonna be important is because what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and reassemble the array. So uh, assembling an array is, you know, basically if you, you, if you stop the array, it's going to allow you to reassemble it. So let's go ahead and just stop this array. Sudo MD ADM, tac tac stop uh, dev MD1. And that's gonna go ahead and stop it. Now let's go ahead and just reassemble it and rebuild it sudo md adm tac tac assemble and then we're going to do dev ad uh whoops dev md1 and you'll want to make sure that it's you'll want to make sure that it, it's uh in the it's in the configuration file for it to get uh to get reset like that now there isn't one additional way that you could you could do this you could do sudo md adm and you could do tac tac assemble and then you could do uh dev md1 and you can do dev sda and then dev sdb and then i think the other one was dev oops dev sdc uh 
Um, filter create MD1 using that. Yeah, see here, and it says dev1 assembled from two drives, not enough to start the array. So I think that should be good. Yeah, there it is. See, there we go. It's actually got all three of them in there um, now, but it's it's kind of weird, and I don't completely understand this, and I would probably not recommend using it this way because it is showing that it's, like, inactive, and I believe this shows them all as spare devices. Yeah, see, like, and it's just like, oh, yeah, it's a grade. So I would not recommend using that method, but it is another one if you want to sit there and play with it. Um, it's not one that I've really messed with, but it can, like, do simple ones. Like, if you only had, like, the two or something like that. I did one. It I don't remember, but I wouldn't recommend using that one. But here we are. I just wanted to show that to you as an additional option if you want to play with it. Now, that was a lot of information. That was a long video, so I really appreciate you sticking around if you made it all the way to the end. Uh, managing raid arrays is a complex thing, but not too difficult. Uh, check out this other video from my channel. Um, remember, mistakes make you better, so keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching my video, and have the greatest of days.